Hello guys and welcome back to another predictions video. Today we are returning not with the Premier League but with the return of the FA Cup. Now we did run the FA Cup on the channel last year um, however if you are new to the channel uh, and you may not have seen this before it does run slightly differently to the Premier League predictions that we do each week. So for those of you that are new and a bit of a refresher for those who may have seen it before effectively how it works is each of the teams uh, the 64 teams left in the FA Cup come the third round are split up into six groups based on ability um, and where they finished last season so as you can see in the top group uh, you've got Arsenal Aston Villa Brighton Liverpool City United Newcastle and Tottenham and going down and so forth through the leagues so how it works is you choose one bonus team from each of these groups and effectively the whole way through the competition they will get double points so in the first round where each correct prediction is worth one point your bonus teams will pick up two in the next round which is the fourth round where each correct prediction is worth two points they will pick up four and so on and so forth all the way through until the final so effectively you want to pick the teams that you think will make it far in the competition and are dead certs to get through so what I'm going to do is run through our bonus teams here and then we will head into our actual predictions for round three where I'm not going to go through every single game as there's a full 32. Um, but what we'll do is I'll pick out my bonus teams, um, see who they are playing and what I have predicted. So starting off in group one, I think it's a fairly obvious one this year. I've gone for Manchester City. I think most people will have gone for City as they're just so dominant. Um, Arsenal potentially another one and Liverpool but they're both facing off against each other so I think most people will have steered clear and Man City are just the obvious choice similarly in group two I think most people will have gone for Chelsea despite them being poor they've got Preston in the uh, third round which should be a winnable fixture at home they've also got a very good record in the FA Cup over the years and compared to the rest of the teams in this group it seems like an obvious choice Heading into Group 3, it becomes a little bit more difficult. You've got sort of the bottom Premier League teams in the top of the Championship. Um, what I've actually done with this group, I was tempted to go for Luton, who are at home to Bolton. But I've actually gone for Southampton. Now, Southampton are at home to Warsaw, which should be a winnable game. And they're also in very good form at the moment, heading into the second half of the season. Luton are playing pretty well, but obviously with them fighting for their lives down at the bottom, I think that's where their priority will lie. So I've gone for Southampton from Group 3. In Group 4, there was a couple of teams that I was tempted to go with. West Brom um, were one of those sides, but I've gone for Coventry, who are at home to Oxford. Coventry in very good form at the moment, and they did get knocked out early in the Cup last year, and I have a feeling I may have had them as one of my bonus teams then. Uh, they lost to Wrexham last year of League 2, so I'm hoping they're going to sort it out for me this year. Ideally, in the first round, you're hoping to get all six teams to through to the next stage. In group five, again, there were a couple of teams that I was looking at, but I've gone for Ipswich going very well in the championship this season. Now, Ipswich are away at League 2 Wimbledon, which isn't necessarily going to be an easy tie. But I think looking at the teams in Group 5, if they do manage to get through that tie, they're one of the better teams in there. So there's more chance of them progressing through to the fifth round and so on. So I'm hoping that we don't have a cup set uh, with Wimbledon beating Ipswich. And then heading into the final group, I've gone for Newport County. There are some decent teams in this bottom half. Uh, Wigan, who are obviously facing... United so um, a tough game for them Wrexham as well uh, Gillingham who are at home to Sheffield United where I think there could potentially be an upset there uh, a couple of League One sides with Bristol Rovers and Cambridge but I've actually gone for Newport County who are at home to Eastley who are obviously a non-league side Newport have a bit of a record in the cup over the last few years of of pulling off some cup sets and going pretty far in the competition for um, a League Two side so I've gone for 
and Newport. As I say, they're at home to Eastleigh, which I'm hoping they will win and make it through. And as I say, the main objective for me is just to get all six of my bonus teams through to the next round. As this third round stage, you only get one point for each prediction that you get correct and two for your bonus teams. So the actual scoring isn't too significant in these early rounds. And as we head into my actual predictions for the third round, I have gone for a few sort of cup sets. So I'm going to try and pick some of them out as well as my bonus teams. So uh, we've got Ipswich here against Wimbledon, which I think is one of the early kickoffs. I have, of course, gone for my bonus team, Ipswich, to win. And then just below that, uh, another of our bonus teams, Coventry at home uh, to Oxford, which again, I've gone for a home victory. Uh, if you haven't already noticed, in the FA Cup, it's just home, draw or away. You don't predict the actual result. So this is just based on 90 minutes. So you're just trying to correctly guess the outcome of the game. I have gone for a couple of shock results with Sunderland to beat Newcastle at home and Gillingham against Sheffield United. As I say, I actually went for a draw because the Jills have been pretty decent this season. Don't let a lot of goals in. Sheffield United don't score a lot and Priestfield is a tough place to try travel for the blade so I've gone for a draw there another one of my bonus teams here Newport as I've mentioned at home to Eastley where I've gone for them to win so hoping it that they go through last year I didn't get off to a very good start and I think two or potentially three of my bonus teams were knocked out at this stage so I'm hoping for all six, but I would take getting five through. Again, another of our bonus teams here, Southampton, with a home tie to Warsaw, which again should be a banker, but we all know about the magic of the cup. You can never be too sure. Just below that, I've got a draw between Stoke and Brighton, which again might be a little bit of a punt. Most people will have gone for Brighton to win, but there is always these sort of crazy results in the cup. Again, Watford against Chesterfield should be a banker, but I've gone for a draw draw just solely down to the magic of the cup and national league chesterfield potentially going to watford and grabbing a replay another of our bonus teams chelsea at home to preston as i've mentioned um, expecting them to win that pretty comfortably don't want a repeat of bradford all those years ago in the cup i was actually at that game chelsea went 2-0 up and lost 4-2 to bradford who i think they were league one or league two at that point and yeah that was a major cup set at the time um, but as the scoring is so low in these first games just one point I, as i say i have gone for a couple of sort of bold um, uh, punts in some of these games and I believe our final bonus team is Manchester City against Huddersfield where I've gone for of course a Manchester City win that really would throw a spanner in the works if City don't win that um, you can see the rest of the results here I've gone for Liverpool to win at Arsenal um, I just about went for United to win at Wigan, although I was very tempted to go for a draw. Uh, West Brom and West Ham both home wins. But that will do it for today's video, guys. I'll be returning with Premier League predictions next weekend, obviously, when the Premier League resumes. And we'll be back for the fourth round of the FA Cup in probably a couple of weeks or months' time. I'm not actually too sure when the fourth round is scheduled for, but I will update you as to how we got on in next week's predictions video so hope you did enjoy guys a little bit of a different uh, change of scenario with the FA Cup but I like it when the FA Cup rolls around so hopefully we can get all six of our bonus teams through to the fourth round I'll catch you in the next episode very soon guys and peace